hey everyone welcome to my channel i am rajnikan and today's video we'll gonna discuss so how to find all the names from a list of employees okay so suppose i have a list where uh, 50 to 60 employee objects are there and i want to find all the names all the 50 names as a list okay using java 8 streams so this is very a popular interview question uh, so let's see how we can do that one okay so already i have done some basic setup like uh, as it will take some take some time to create this class and so i have done some basic setup like uh, already i have created a uh, employee class where i have taken the name age salary and department okay so i will upload uh, a lot of video on streams based on this employee class okay so you can watch those watch those videos as well in future so already i have created this employee class with uh, uh, this one two three four attributes and i have created a public constructor and all setter getters okay now let's see find all names as list from employee list this is a class test class okay so here i have created around nine employee objects right employee e is equal to new employee where uh, I have uh, passed those uh, arguments as in the constructor. So name John Steve, age 25, salary somewhere 30,000 and department IT. Right. So here I have created a couple of uh, employee objects with different parameters like name, age, salary and department. So here I have taken two departments like IT and HR. Okay. Uh, then what I have done here. So I have created a list of employee where I have added uh, all those employees to that list so employee list this is the array list so list of employee emp list is equal to new array list if you are not aware so here i am taking list as a interface this list as a interface right so so left hand side i am taking the list interface reference variable and right hand side i have created the implementation class object right so this is the thumb rule uh, uh, subclass object can be hold by superclass reference right this is very very important uh, a a what i can say it's a rule so superclass reference can hold child class object or parent class reference can hold child class object so then i have in employee list i have added all those employees e e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e8 okay now let's see our actual business logic right so how we can find all the names out of this employees pretty simple what we can do first anything we require streams right so employee list dot stream so two things are there stream and parallel stream so parallel stream means it will uh, parallelize your uh, your tasks right so let me take uh, the sequential stream okay stream dot then what we need to do so what exactly we want out of each employee we want only these names right so only this name means what kind of data type this name is this name is string data type so here what we need to do we need to apply a map function okay map stream dot map so this map function what it will do it will take the argument okay and it will return a different data type whatever it will take it will take a different data type so it will help us transform the data transform means you will you will put one thing and it will give us another thing okay it will transform the input okay so how we can do so ideally map function if the interviewer will ask what is map function in java 8 streams so map will transform the input to it will transform the input okay in, into a different data type it will transform the input so let's see how we can do so we can pass as a lambda if you'll see in map uh, it will it will accept as a function right so function means let's see what is function this is a function means it's a functional interface right so let's see what is this function so if you'll see function is a functional interface and it's and it it have one method one abstract method is known as apply 
which will take one parameter and it will return a different parameter. If you'll see here, R is a different parameter. Okay. So apply inside this apply whatever the logic you want, you can apply that one. And it will take a parameter, it will return a different data type. Okay. So let's see, we need to implement this lambda. Not implement, we need to pass this lambda. So pretty simple how we can pass as a lambda the to this functional interface. Okay, so here if you'll see it's taking one argument, right? One parameter here. Pretty simple. So if it is a single parameter, you no need to uh, do this bracket. So simply we can take EMP and lambda this arrow symbol and what we need to do emp dot get name so here we are we are returning these names right from each employee we are fetching these names okay so again it will return as a stream and from here what we can do we can collect okay this may function will transform the data so input data is employee employee object and here it's returning uh, these names employee names right so collect and inside collectors dot to list we can have okay so here done and left hand side we can take a variable so list of this is string names okay yep we have done now how we can check these names Either we can print using for each loop, anything. I mean, now we can uh, in Java 8 onwards, uh, we do have a lot of options how we can iterate lists. So, names dot for each. Okay, this for each loop is applied. Okay, that is fine. So, system dot out dot println and here name. Okay, so let's run this one. I'll, I'll show you that for each loop as well right stream sorry names dot list dot for each also i will show you that method as well so let's run this one first so it will print all those names okay so we'll see in the console you will see here how many it's eight plus one so we have started here right so nine uh, names it will show in the console so let's see It's running. So before running, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it. So if you will see here, a uh, lot of other videos are there like in Java stream, singleton pattern, enums, how to break singleton and other git videos, lot of Java streams, uh, interview question, Spring Boot, microservices, uh, git in details, all the uh, different uh, interview questions and videos are there, right? So if you are really interested, you can watch those videos as well and you can subscribe my channel as well. Okay. So let's see the output. I think it's done. Yes, it's done. So if you'll see here, so John Steve, Sohan, uh, Sohan Sarkar, Niharanjan, Mike Sain, Cheng Jerry, Tapasahu, Subhasamal and Ronak Das, Lippi Venkat, right? So if you'll see all those names we are printing here. Okay. So hope you got a crystal clear idea how we can find the names out of this uh, li employee list using java streams now let's remove this one and we'll apply for each loop java for each loop i'll show you name start for each here we'll pass a lambda emp and we can pass here as a sorry my bad we can do that one, but uh, there is a very simple way. System dot out. Yeah, print ln. In a simple single line, also we can do that one. So in for each loop, one lambda we can pass here, but instead of passing that lambda, we can pass method reference as well. Okay. So let's uh, let me run it again, and I will show you. Okay, anyway, this output will come. So, hope this video is uh, really helpful to you people. Uh, if you are attending interview or if you are gaining some knowledge, then definitely uh, I think uh, it will be helpful to you people. Okay, 
and uh, don't hesitate to put your valuable comments in the comment section which will boost me to upload more videos like this right so it's a simple things right it will not uh, uh, it will not it will not ask you money to <laughs> to give some comments or like right this is uh, simple steps okay so if you'll see we are getting the same thing so thank you for watching guys have a nice day